Uh, I want to thank Susan Hans for the, for being here and the, the leaders, their leadership in transit. Uh, you know, Wisconsin has great transit leaders, and uh, Stevens Point is uh, certainly a great example of that. I particularly want to thank uh, and recognize Senator Lassa, uh, who has uh, been struggling with a lot of difficult issues, just as I have in recent times. And uh, together, we are working to put together a budget in this state in very difficult times that makes the necessary and difficult cuts we have to make, but does it in a way that uh, does everything we can to preserve uh, basic education in Wisconsin, health care needs of our citizens, does it without taxing the middle class of this uh, state, no sales or income tax increases unless you're making over $300,000 a year, and God love you if you're doing that, any of you in the audience today, but really working to hold the line on taxes and and uh, and get us through this very difficult time. So, uh, Senator, thank you for the work that you have done and uh, that you will be doing in the next couple of weeks as we uh, really uh, move through a difficult time, but do it in a way that keeps Wisconsin strong. Uh, I want to also uh, particularly mention as well uh, uh, Louis Malepsky and Marlon Schneider and Amy Sue Vruink, all of whom are great legislators who are currently in Madison working on this very difficult uh, issue. So um, I appreciate all that they have done as well. We, uh, we are in a very difficult time in this state uh, and in this country. Uh, I'm going to just give you two numbers that kind of highlight the situation that we find ourselves in. La before September, when all of the markets collapsed, Wisconsin was in pretty good shape. We weren't in great shape, but compared to most of the country, we were in pretty good shape. Our unemployment rate was about 4%, one of the lowest in the country. Uh, our exports were growing, manufacturing was growing, agricultural economy was strong. There were some very difficult areas, paper industry and automobile industry, so I'm not saying it was great. But it was, sort of, it was okay, and we were coming through it. But in September, we saw the stock markets collapse. We saw the banking system uh, come to a screeching halt. We saw consumer confidence fall to zero. And we saw an economy that uh, in the United States, for the first time since the Depression, that has actually shrank. Uh, in those uh, six months since then, we have seen an unemployment rate in Wisconsin climb from 4% to nearly 9%. Uh, and you know, we talk about that as a percentage, but those are real people. And I think what gets me most upset about this situation is those people who are now out of work were not swapping derivatives. They were not hyperinflating the real estate market. They weren't engaging in very risky financial practices. They were doing what we do in Wisconsin. They were getting up and going to work and working really hard. And now, through no fault of their own, they find themselves in difficult circumstances. And so we have to make sure that we really stand up for them. And uh, again, I really want to thank Senator Lassa, who moved quickly uh, to extend unemployment benefits in this state and to make sure that we are really looking out for hardworking people who find themselves in difficult circumstances. Uh, and the second number I want to just give you is that between April of 2009, when uh, our tax collections compared to April of 2008, were 35 percent less. And that's the national average. Between 2008 and 2009, income tax collections dropped by 35 percent. So that really gives you a sense of what's been happening in this economy. It is a tough time. Uh, and so it is a tough time that we have to face honestly and forthrightly and with good Wisconsin values. My values are these. Let's make sure these kids can get a good education. And while we're going to have to make some cuts to education, and I know we all wish we didn't have to, we're going to make them the most minor possible. And there will be the, the, the least cuts of any area of the state budget will be in education. Because we want to make sure these fourth graders are able to go on and get a good fifth grade education and a good sixth grade education. And we also want to make sure that uh, higher education is affordable. And the budget that's um, moving forward uh, would, would freeze tuition for people with incomes of $60,000 or less. And hold tuition low for uh, the, any increase would be held down uh, for others. It would expand financial aid even in this very difficult time. So we have to make sure we, we, we protect education. We have to make sure we protect basic health care for people. You know, last year over 100,000 people got health insurance in this state that didn't previously have it. Most of them were children. 
Uh, and we should be very proud that we are the state that now the second, we have the second highest percentage of people covered by health insurance of any state in the United States. And so we can't say to a young child who got health insurance for the first time and got to see a doctor and got the proper immunizations, we can't say to that child, that was a good little experiment, but sorry, you don't have health insurance anymore. We have to make sure that we protect basic health insurance. And we also have to make sure that we are that we are continuing to focus uh, on having Wisconsin ready as the economy turns around to grow and expand uh, and create good paying jobs. Well, we have a friend in Washington. We have a, quite a few friends in Washington. But let me just say, um, I am very thankful that uh, President Obama was elected in November. Uh, I don't know what we would be doing right now if that had not happened. Uh, and he has addressed uh, the needs. Uh, we would, the minimal cuts we're making to education, let me tell you, would be many, many times greater if we didn't have the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. And our ability to make sure that the children in this state continue to have health insurance is because of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. David Obey, great congressman from this state, was at the center of, the, of that uh, American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. And so that act provides us now with an opportunity to make some very, very important investments. And the mayor gave you uh, some of the things that Stevens Point has been doing. And uh, it is a, a extremely um, uh, gratifying to hear that, that, we have, that people are taking advantage of uh, what uh, the President and Congress have made available to us. Well, we're going to do that uh, in this state in a number of very important areas. Uh, and today I'm here to talk about some very valuable investments that we will make in our transit system uh, and uh, across the state of Wisconsin, but particularly here in central Wisconsin. Uh, as a result of the American uh, Recovery and Reinvestment Act, we are going to be funding these projects. In Stevens Point, $1.57 million. You've got a pretty active uh, commission and uh, director of transit to put together a great application. And as I understand, this will mean three hybrid buses, three wheelchair lifts for buses, uh, and transit and support equipment that will help this system run better. In Wausau, uh, there will be five clean diesel transit buses. In Wisconsin Rapids, two station wagons for their rideshare program. Uh, in, in Marshfield, an ADA accessible uh, bus a station wagon and a series of, and radios that will help with the communication systems for those transit systems. So these are uh, incredibly important investments that we're making. These new technologies offer real advantages. A hybrid bus means that a city reduces its fuel usage by tens of thousands of gallons of gasoline. And clean diesel buses mean over a 40 percent decrease in emissions. So these projects are a very good start. Uh, and transit is incredibly important for us. We hope we, we, we are focused on how we can, people can get from home to work or where they need to go and can do it uh, in reasonable time and can do it in good, safe, uh, clean transit system. We shouldn't have to worry whether it'll take us 20 minutes or an hour to get home. We are also going to be focused with the reinvestment money to make sure that our bridges and roads are better, uh, that we connect our cities uh, and our state uh, with the region. We have an incredible opportunity to bring high-speed passenger rail uh, to the state of Wisconsin as we connect to cities uh, throughout the entire Midwest. State. And here in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, throughout central Wisconsin, uh, we are going to work with you to build a good transit system. Uh, to make sure that we are making long-term investments in the basic infrastructure, improving the quality of life of people in Wisconsin, and putting people back to work doing it. So that's what we're going to get done. Uh, and it'll be a, it's going to be a, uh, it, it's going to take uh, a real determination. But I know this state well, and I know its people well. Uh, and Wisconsin will face this challenge, and we'll come through it stronger than ever. Thank you all very much. Thank you.